All right, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I'd like to get all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Waha, Kodash Waka. All right. I'd like to say double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, and salutations to the alchemy that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Okay. Um, I have an article that says um, about the, the blood moon. The blood red moon, it says, um, yeah, it said the blue blood moon. It says, first time in 150 years, RT's guide to the upper blue blood moon. All right. It says, um, read the article real quick. It says, stargazers in North America will get their reward for laboring through the January blues with a lunar event. 150 years in, make, in the making at the end of this month. It says a where confluence of a blue moon, a super moon, a blood moon, and a total lunar eclipse will be visible in the sky over parts of the US and Canada on January thirty first. So this is gonna happen in three in threes, man. Blue moon, super moon, a uh blood moon, and a uh what in the total lunar eclipse, so that's four. All right. Um, <clears throat> it says, Salakia. It says, um, the lunar eclipse would be invisible in the sky over parts of the U.S. and Canada on January thirty-first, the first time a super blood, super blue blood moon has happened since March thirty-first, eighteen sixty-six. All right, that's happened like what 19th, 18th century. Okay. Um, read on. It says, Read more. Wolf Moon opens 2018, but are super moons really? Super moons really so super? It got the photos too, so I ain't finna go today. It got the photos right here. And further down, um, say, What is a super blue blood moon? Anyway, it's a super moons which occur occur when the moon is full at the t same time. It is at its closest reproach to the Earth's appear 14% bigger and 30% brighter than normal full moons. The forthcoming super moon is the last in the trilogy that began on December 3rd with the second visible on the new year's day the third is now due to arrive at the end of the month however because it is the second full moon in the same month a phenomenal the phenomenon is also the blue moon <laughs> this is the picture that nasa took okay Say Saturn's spooky Death Star moon captured in closest ever NASA image. And you go to um, the tonal lunar eclipse. So there's going to be the blue, the blue blood moon, the red moon. Um, what it says it's going to be? Let me read up real quick. It says the super moon, blood moon, and the total lunar eclipse. All right, in the blue blood moon. So that's going to happen in fours, man. All in one. It's going to be hella signs that the Lord is going to come out with, man. All right. Um, it says some sunlight still reaches the moon during a total lunar eclipse. But first it goes through the Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere filters out most of the sun's blue light. So the moon looks red. So he go to um he go to um this side this this basically the uh, the picture of it how it's gonna look basically um it says um uh, it says um I'm gonna read it again it says some some sunlight still reaches the the moon during a lunar eclipse but first it goes through the Earth atmosphere. The atmosphere filter out most of the sun's blue light. So, so the moon looks red, NASA says. You say when and where is best to 
to see this thing and say the best time to see the super moon would be directly after moonrise and just before sunrise so this is gonna happen at night man like around eight <laughs> i think i'm just choosing the time it said meanwhile the meanwhile the lunar eclipse will will will, will best be viewed from eastern asia oh, okay so eastern asia uh, they really get you see most of the sunrise and the sun setting in different parts of the world man on the other side of the world the pacific regions and western areas of north america people in eastern north america and europe will only be able to see partial eclipse according to accuweather in the weather channel you know things like that read more airline music M music explain why space colonizers should choose fun mars over the moon let me see if i can play this video real quick real quick So basically, um, that's how the moon basically is going to look, you know, according to uh, NASA. All right. But uh, no further ado, I'm going to go to the scriptures and, and, and show basically this based on prophecy, man. All right. Um, no further ado, I'm going to go to the scriptures real quick. I'm going to go to. This is all prophecy. This is all prophecy according to the Bible, man. The Lord said he was going to do this, man. All right. Uh, let's go back. I'm going to go to Acts. Acts chapter 2, verse 19. It says, And I will shew wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke the sun shall be turned into darkness that's talking about the lunar eclipse man all right it's saying the moon into blood and that's talking about the blood moon the article i just read man the lord already said this man okay before the great and notable day of the lord come okay so the see the great and notable day of the Lord come, okay. This is before destruction, okay. Um, it says, and this shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yahweh Bashim Shai. So that's the true name of the Lord, man. Not Jesus, man. Not Jesus Christ. Not God. What it says in the scriptures. But you got to break it down in Hebrew, man. You know, Lord, okay? Which his real name is Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai, okay? Um, it says, I'm going to go to Joel. Joel. Chapter 2, verse 30. It says, And I will shoot wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire, pillar of smoke. 
It says the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible. Now, I read in Acts, it said notable day, okay? Say before the great and terrible day of the Lord come, all right? So, the Lord, you know what I'm saying, showing signs before destruction, all right? Verse 32, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, that's talking about the elect, be delivered for in the Mount Zion, all right? And in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, and the Lord shall, the Lord have said, and in the remnant, the remnant was the elect whom the Lord shall call, man. All right? So when all hell break loose, man, the Lord is going to call his elect, okay? For deliverance And then the rest of the people on this earth Especially two thirds of our people Going to get destroyed man Alright So after this blood red moon This blood blue moon It's going to all kinds of stuff going to happen man All kind of events <clears throat> Alright all kind of All kind of um, And the prophecy is rolling Rolling real hard man It's like a snowball effect It's getting bigger and bigger man Alright Um, let's go to, <clears throat> let's go to Jeremiah chapter 10, all right, verse 1. It say, Hear ye the word which the, which the Lord, your most high, speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. It say, Thus saith the most high, Learn not the ways of the heathen, which is the other nations, because the other nations... <clears throat> They they into stargazing, <clears throat> like um like the articles say right here. Stargazers in North America will get their reward for laboring through January blues with a lunar event hundred fifty years and the making and the making at the end of the end of this month. So the, the main the main word I want to just uh touch on is stargazers, man. You know what I'm saying? That'll let you know that the scriptures, the scriptures, the Bible is real, man. You know, right? it, it, it speaks on prophecy. Okay. It says, Thus saith the Most High, Learn not the ways of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, which means don't fear, man. Don't fear the signs of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Um, wonders, man. You know what I'm saying? The signs is the blood, red moon, stuff like that. Because most people get scared as hell when they see the moon like that, man. All some, you know, all it's finna, you know, get fear. For those that, you know, for ones that don't fear, it's the man of the Lord. We're still elect, man. Okay? Because they, the, they know it's prophecy. That's why, that's why the Lord said don't fear. All right? We say, thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. All right? Be not dismayed. Be not, be not, be not afraid, man. Okay, or the signs of the heaven of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. For the heathen are dismayed at them. So all the heathens are dismayed at them. And our people dismayed at them too, because they cause they have a heathenistic um mindset. Okay. So so the Lord the Lord told the elect don't be afraid of of um of the signs and wonders of the of the heavens, man. Okay. That the Lord finna uh, reveal. Okay. Um, touch on the stargazers, man. <laughs> let's go to uh, let's go to Isaiah real quick. Here, yeah, Isaiah, before I close out, Isaiah, uh, chapter 47 and verse 12. It says, Stand now in thy enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries. Wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, be thou shalt be able to profit. If so, be thou mayest prevail. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. So you stargazers, man, they they having these counsels about about these um these moons, these blood moons, man. They say, let now the astrologers and the stargaze the stargazers. Well, we just showed you an article, man. These are it says stargazers of North America. I'm talking about you Edomites and you all the nations, man. Okay, mainly you, mainly you so-called white white people, man. You Edomites, man. Look at the word stargazers. Goes back to the Hebrew word kozach, means seer, vision. 
Okay. So having these these um visions, you know what I'm saying? That's that's really, you know what I'm saying? That's part of like witchcraft, man. These visions, man, stargazing, you know, and um let's go back to time of pharaohs, man. The stargazers, the monthly pronosticators, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. All right. Um, it says, it says, behold, they shall be a be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver <laughs> themselves from the power of the flame. This is thermonuclear fire, man, because these stargazers, they think they can just deliver themselves from from the from this coming destruction of the most high. So they don't believe in they don't believe in God, man. They don't believe in the Lord, man. They believe in what they see and what they um what they can imagine, man. Okay. They say they shall not deliver themselves. Why right, you ain't able to deliver yourselves, man, okay? Of the flame that shall not be as cold to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. So the Lord is gonna um he's gonna destroy his place, man. He's gonna destroy these unpronosticators and these stargazers, man. That's why that's why they told that's why the Lord told us in Jeremiah 10 to say, learn not the ways of the heathen and be and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. So basically these pronosticators and these uh, um stargazers are uh um uh, basically are dismayed at these signs, man. Alright. And and the heathen, they basically mainly all heathens. And they, they learning these um different types of um you know you know looking into the sky through a um telescope and um seeing what's out there and all that man. Alright? So they know majority of them know that the Lord is coming back. And these elites know. You know what I'm saying? They know when the Lord, because they read the scriptures. But the Lord ain't dealing with them. But no, they, they know. They read the scriptures. They know the prophecies. They, they come out with movies and stuff like that, man. All right? So, uh, <clears throat> mainly our people don't know what the hell's going on. They don't have no clue. They think this blood red moon is basically just a regular moon that's in the sky that's showing. No oh, man, it's the signs of heaven, man. The signs of the Lord from the return, man. Signs of the Lord's return. Okay. So after this, man, it's gonna be a whole lot of stuff going on, man. It's gonna be a whole lot of hell breaking loose, man. Cause um, the Most High, you know, what I'm saying he's coming back, man. He's coming back with vengeance, man. Okay. All right. So with that, man, I like to say all praise and glory, honor to you. All right. And um, till next time, man. I uh, hope y'all was edified. Shalom.